Hello, welcome to Trisha's um, Simple to Stepped Up on Sundays. And today, I I really love these little animals. I thought I'd use this um, Peekaboo Farm um, stamp set. I think they're great for children. They're really fun, um, lovely images. These, so those are the ones that I've done. I've used the the ram and the pig, and I'm going to use the horse for the next one. And of course, I've used the the brickwork, and I'm using the hello there and sending hugs and I've also used a little bird. I'll show you where in a minute. So this is the one that I've made already and then I'm going to make another version but with the horse on for you for this one for today. And this is the one that I've made the stepped up version and I'll explain a bit more about what I've done with that one in a minute. Okay, so let's make a start. Now this is going to be a little bit on the messy side so I'll just take my white sheet away and what we on here. Okay, right, so let's have a look at what we need. I need my this and whoops, these. Here we go. Right, so this is the piece that I used previously. Let me just put this back on. So I need to mask this bit off because I'm doing some colouring onto the card and I don't want it to go on. I'm just going to cut the pig off. <laughs> Sounds a bit strange but I'm just going to cut this across here so I got the wall because I'm, I'm not doing the pig this time. We're doing a horse. So I've done that bit ready and I've got that and I want this bit as well. Right, so we've got everything that we need. So first of all, we're going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp the wall first and I'm going to be using my Memento Black Tuxedo Black Ink. The wall. So I'm going to start in the middle. Here. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp on either side to finish off my wall. Otherwise it looks a bit strange that somebody would be looking over the wall when there's not a full wall. <laughs> so we need a full wall to go on here. Now I've just explained what happens with this stamp rather than having lines going through the hooves of the animals um, what Stampin' Up have done they've left little gaps in the top of the wall so make sure you use the wall the right way up then the only trouble is when I want to continue my wall I need to fill in the gaps then because I don't want gaps further along the wall so there we go so I'm just leaving the two gaps in the middle okay but it makes the wall look more continuous okay now I'm going to stamp my horse so here's the next stamp and the horse's hooves fit right in the middle of the parts that are left in the wall and there we go you see so this they fit exactly in the middle the only other thing I want to do now is put my hello I'll put my hello there afterwards no I will not I will do it now so I'm going to put hello hello there so we'll put that might as well do all the stamping first I'll put that up in up here. There we go. And then on the inside, we've got sending hugs. Put that in the middle here. And then I just put a little bird 
on the page. Now, there we go. I also did one on the corner of my envelope. So I'll do them again. There we go. So that's all my stamping done. And now we can think about colouring. The only other thing I did do on the inside of this card was I just put him so that he was standing on the little branch. So I'll just do that. Just using my black Stampin' Right marker pen. And it doesn't have to be There we go. So that's my little branch that he's on. So he's not sort of standing in midair. So I've finished with that one. So here's the card. Now we can start colouring. Now what I've done, I've got my wall and that's where it should be, about there. There we are. And I'm just going to finish, I'm just going to put this, well, it doesn't matter, go underneath there like that, just while I, it doesn't matter for now. And now I'm going to do my, oh no, I need my horse. <laughs> I've got to put my horse looking over the wall. Right, so I've used, ah, that's what it was. My mane is going to be a bit of a, might be a funny colour. I couldn't, because I'd already stamped on this, beforehand. <laughs> I didn't quite get it right. Hang on, let me just see if I can move this across a little bit. That's better. So I've got most of him covered. He's okay. He'll be fine. Um, so what I did, I've got a piece of post-it note and I'm going to just cover the, this bit off. I might be able to do it that way. And then I'll use the other part then to go underneath once I've coloured it in. So this is my top half. Just take, move that up. It'll come down again, it doesn't matter. So I'm using my blending brushes. You could use a sponge, you can use the finger daubers, it doesn't really matter. And I've used some garden green ink and some uh, seaside spray is the other colour I've used. But you could use um, balmy blue would be just as good. So I'm just going to do the green in between these two um, pieces of paper. I'll just go carefully around the hooks on that side and then from the top down, oops, there we go, so that's the green then, I'll take that one away because I'm not going to get that far again, and I'm going to put this now hopefully to cover That should just about do it. It won't stick down, but I'll use my fingers to hold it down. And I've got my blue brush and my seaside spray. Whoops. isn't quite as dark as it could be. There we go. Oh, I forgot. Aha, I've got my sun to go around my hello there. There we go. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Nearly forgot the sun. And what you could do as well, if you wanted to, in the stamp set, there are some clouds and you could put those on some... Um, cut some of those out, stamp them and cut them out and put those as masks over your, on, and on your card as well before you put the colour on. So that would look nice as well. 
if you wanted to. So here we go. I'm just going to go extra around this then. So I've got a few little bits where some of the paper just want a little bit more blue. There, and a little bit over here. Don't really want the white to be there. That's okay. I'm not too worried about the green. That's fine. That'll be lovely. So that is my colouring done with my blending brushes. And there we've got a nice circle around there. So now I can take off these masks off. So there we got some nice colours. Now for the wall, for the sun I used some of this... Um, can put this away a minute sorry I'll be I put my fingers all over it um, I've used some daffodil delight I've got the um, these are the watercolor pencils this is set one and I think I've used one from set two but you don't need to um, it's just because I wanted some different colors for the horse but if you've only got one set then you can make do with one set because you could use black and brown for the horse instead of um, I've used the early espresso and the Cajun craze. I'm going to use the Cajun craze. I've also used the early espresso um, for the wall as well. That's it. Now for his hooves, they're going to be black. And no, that's okay. I'm going to use some of the this is Cajun craze for his mane. And this little piece of his hang on, this little bit of muzzle. And maybe this bit as well. And his mane here. There we go. And then I'm going to use some of the, I'm going to use the early espresso for the rest of him. only colouring this lightly. I'm going to go back over it afterwards with my watercolour brush. So maybe this could be a little bit darker. And we'll do a little bit darker there. And a little bit Okay, so I've just got, I might put a little bit of darkness just there as well. Now I'm going to use my watercolour brush just to blend it all together. Just his there we go. Right, so 
so now that's the horse done. Now for the wall, I've used, um, hang on, I'll do the, the blocks first, the stones. So I'm going to use the early espresso and I might use some of the Cajun craze as well. And I'm not worrying too much about it because it's not so much of a problem. This one, I think. There we go. So I'll use my Cajun craze on the others. I will smooth this out when I do the when I use my water brush. And then around the outside for the grouting, I'm using some basic grey. Or the mortar or whatever it is. <laughs> um, again, I'm not being too fussy because this will all get sort of smoothed over when I use the water brush and don't have to worry because these cards aren't that thin that they will warp with the water I'll just do the sun first just to just smooth that out as well there we go and then do the dark ones first. Let's just smooth them all over. If you haven't got a water brush, it's not a problem. You can just use <coughs> a damp brush. You don't want it too wet or you will probably walk the card. But if you just use it damp, it should be fine. We shouldn't have too much of a problem. I'll just go over these. <laughs> Don't want my voice then. <laughs> Seems to be coming and going a bit. Missed one there. That doesn't matter. There we go. So they're all. And then just go over with the basic grey just to make the make it not look so quite so white here we go and we're nearly done whoops no one there funny color I think I picked something up on <laughs> there we go right so that's my ball done. There we go. So that's the outside of the card done. There we go. Now I just want to finish off my little bird inside. So I'm using Daffodil Delight for his chest. And I've got Pacific Point for the rest of him, his wing. And I'm not going to use the water brush on this. I like him as it is. And the same on my envelope. Don't need that. So the daffodil delight there. And then just nice and gently for the rest of him. So there we have our cards note cards so that's the horse and that's the pig and then for the stepped up version i had a, this is a piece of um dsp that was from mm -hmm. let's have a think where did i use it i got some more let's see if i can find it it doesn't matter because you doesn't you don't have to 
use the same one again. There it is. There it is. It's, oh, I know, it's from the Beauty of Beauty. Uh, One. Oops. It's from the Beauty of the Earth Design Series paper, and these are all the different papers that come with this, and it's the back of this one. So I just cut off a piece of this to use as the sky, and then the rest of it is cut out. So I stamped this onto a white piece of card, and then I cut them, <coughs> cut around them, um, to before I mounted them onto the background. I've used some basic grey um, in the background as well. I used blender pens to colour this one in, the ram, and I cut out, I punched out a scalloped circle. Um, that one is a one and three quarter inch, but this one is retired, so you, but you can use um, the layering circles, I think they're still about. And this one was the one in the middle, the one and three, three eighths. But you could use any circles, punches, whatever you've got, the die cuts or what, whatever you want to. So that's what I've used. Some little um, gems from the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And I used these very light um, blue. I think they're, oh, it doesn't say on here. I think they're supposed to be like a balmy blue. Okay, so that's that card. And there we have the three cards. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any comments, you can leave them below. Or you can email me at trishascardsandcrafts at yahoo.com. If you want any of them, the stamp set or the materials that I've used, the papers or the colours, the pencils, you can find them my online shop which is Trisha's Cards and Craft dot stamping up dot net um, and these are all still available on my online shop there we go thank you very much again for joining me and hopefully I'll see you again soon if you want to see more of my videos you can click on the subscribe button and if you click on the little bell icon you will be notified when I post a new video hopefully I'll see you again soon bye bye